another paper haven top tip and today i'm talking about inks that we use for different forms of coloring in because i have been asked this question a few times so uh, it follows on from my last video with the mounting of the stamps so if you watch that one that's great so there's a couple of ways that i use mostly for coloring in um and I like to use our stamping blends, which are an alcohol marker. And I also like to use our watercolour pencils, which are obviously water-based. And um, we do two packs of these. Okay, so let's just get those out. I'm not actually going to do any colouring on this video because that's going to be the next video. I'm just going to talk about what I use um, with, which one, with each one. So for the alcohol markers it's all about opposites okay so these contain alcohol this helps the color to blend okay so it means that we need to stamp in a black ink pad that's non-alcoholic which is a water-based ink pad this is where memento ink comes in now i use memento um we sell Memento and we do a refill as well. And whenever I'm colouring with stamping blends, I'll go through this in my next video, but I use our Thick Whisper White. And I just ink up the image with the Memento. Okay, and there we have our image. So I'm using an alcohol pen and a water-based ink. And that is because it won't bleed because we're using opposites. Now, if you're wanting to watercolour with a brush and with pencils um, or with the inks, so this will work if you're watercolouring with the inks, with our inks too, um, it's the same thing, then we need to use a stays on. So if I'm using a watercolour um, medium, I'm best using a watercolour paper or our shimmery white cardstock because it takes the water and absorbs the water a bit more. This is our watercolour paper. Um, this is how it comes in this pack. I've just actually received this. Uh, it's five by seven. So let us have a go with this. So you can, I don't know if you can see the texture. It's a lot um, sort of grainier and it, it's more absorbent. So. For this, I'm using a stays on because this is an alcohol ink pad. Now, this is the one that smells like almond essence. It does come with this and it says on it, do not discard. That's really, really important. Because this is an alcohol ink, it can um, dry, sort of evaporate really quickly. So once you've inked up your stamp, pop the lid back on. Always pop the lid back on um, so it doesn't dry out. And then we're going to stamp that down. Oh man, that's not so good. I don't think I put enough on. Or maybe I left it before I put the lid on. So let's have another go. Ooh, ooh. You see, I'm human. I don't do it right all the time. Right, there we go. Maybe I was just being a bit impatient for this video. There we go, that's a lot better. So, pop the lid back on. And the reason we've used the alcohol ink is because we're going to use a water-based, can you see it says there, water-based dye ink. So we need to use the alcohol ink. And these are watercolour pencils, which we can also use with a water brush. So again, we're using opposites. Um, sorry for my little faux pas with the stamping, but I am human um, and I do things wrong too. So I hope I've explained a little bit on this video how you work out which inks you're using with um, which medium you're colouring with. And I'll be back with another video about colouring. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>